Congrats on getting married, Kay. I heard about this from Emmett just a second ago, but you guys went and handed in the papers at the courthouse, right? Thank you so much, Emmy. So, this is all about celebrating your marriage and all, so can I talk with you about it? What? Uh, well, if you're wanting to talk about that right now, then be my guest. Thank you, actually, for caring about this so much. Well, don't get your hopes up too much. I was actually wanting to tell you that we can't give you any money or anything as a present, so please don't expect anything from us come your wedding. What? I'm really sorry about this. When it came to our marriage, you went and gave us a whole bunch of presents to celebrate. That coffee maker you got for us that's so fancy is still being put to good use. Thank you so much for still using it, but what's this about you guys not being able to give us anything for our wedding? Recently, we haven't been doing too well financially, which means that right now we don't have any money to do anything for you. I'm so sorry about that. Is that so? You being as kind as you are can understand what I'm saying, right? I know we won't be able to give you anything physical, but we still plan on coming to your wedding to celebrate you guys. That should be more than enough, right? That's right. Just coming out to celebrate us is enough for me. Just your reason for changing the promise we had before is a little bit hazy to me. What? What promise are you talking about? So you don't remember what I'm talking about? Uh, the promise you and my brother made when I sent you that gift. You promised me that you'd make sure to give me something at my wedding of equal value. That's kind of the reason why I've been getting really excited to see what you'd have to give me in exchange for that expensive coffee maker. Ugh. My brother didn't really care what kind of coffee maker I got you guys, but then you butted in last minute saying you wanted something new and gorgeous to have in the kitchen. You and him actually had a small fight over that, right? But no matter how much my brother told you that it didn't need to be fancy, you didn't listen to him. And actually, you started to throw a fit towards the end, saying that if the coffee machine wasn't new and fancy, you wouldn't take it. That's why I went and got you guys a really expensive one, knowing that that was the only choice I had with you. The... Oh, that did happen, didn't it? And at that time, I was still in college and didn't have a whole lot of money. Having to buy a coffee maker costing close to $300 was a tough buy for me. But after you got that from me, you made a promise, right? You promised that you'd give me something of equal value when I got married. I told you plenty of times as well that I'd been looking forward to getting married, partially to see what you'd get for me. You... you said that? When it comes to presents, it's all about the thought that goes into them. It's not about the cost or anything, really. But you breaking your promise to me by saying something like that makes me feel a little bit upset. Oh, shut the hell up, Kay. You can say that to me all you want, but right now we're financially not doing so well, so we have no choice. Something that is said to be impossible for us is impossible. So don't you expect us to give you anything for your wedding because we're not. Hey, Kay. Before, you were telling me about how you want a new air fryer, right? kind that you could set to making anything you want in it, right? I'll go out and buy you the newest kind with all those features on it as your wedding present. Well, thank you so much, Emmett, but you really don't have to force yourself to get me anything. What do you mean, force myself to? <laughs> My little sister's getting married, so of course I'm wanting to give you something. And it's not like you didn't get us something amazing for our wedding, right? Allow me to give you something in return for that. I'm very happy to hear you saying that, but you guys are having some financial problems currently, right? I don't want you having to force yourself to go into debt for a simple present, okay? What? When you guys have the money to afford a gift for me, you can buy something for me then. Uh, hold on a minute, Kay. What do you mean we're having some financial problems right now? We're not in any situation where you need to be worried about our finances. Far from that, actually. What? But Emmy was saying you guys are having some money problems right now. She told me that you guys don't have the money right now, so you wouldn't be giving me anything for my wedding. She contacted me saying that she didn't want me to expect anything from you both. You're kidding me, right? What the hell was she saying? I'm sorry, Kay. You don't have to worry about whatever the hell she was going on about. We have the money to afford a very good present for you. So please, don't feel afraid to ask me for whatever kind of kitchen appliance or whatever the hell else you want. What's going on here? So you're telling me that your wife lied to me? Lies to you, perhaps. Or maybe she was acting out of line. 
I received a cut to my bonus this year, and she's been throwing a fit about it ever since. Your bonus was cut? Uh, doesn't that mean that your company isn't performing well at all right now? Well, just a tad bit. How poor the economy has been all around, some of that has been affecting the company. But to be honest, it was only cut by $100, which is nothing when talking about the bonuses I receive. Is that right? I was thinking you meant most of your bonus was gone and you'd only be getting a couple of hundred dollar bills. Well, the company was only doing poorly for a second, but now it's back on track for hitting its targets. And as a matter of fact, right now it's doing better than this quarter's projected target. The CEO even sent out an email to everyone saying we should all be looking forward to this year's coming bonus. So we are doing fine at home. There is nothing going on inside this house that you need to be worried about, nor should my wife be worried about. If you want me to show that you have no reason to be worried, allow me to use this whole bonus I received to get you whatever you want. <laughs> that would be way too much money being spent on me. But I want to know why Emmy was saying all those things about you guys earlier. She said you guys didn't even have the money to get me a small gift, so I was expecting things to be pretty dire for you both. Recently, I've been a bit worried about that woman. Ever since I said something about taking a cut to my bonus, she has behaved like we've become poor overnight. She's even saying things like that to the neighbors and to all her friends. And to make all of this even worse, she's been going around asking people to help her, saying we don't have any money at all. What? She's been going around asking for new clothes for the kids, saying she wants them to dress better. She's also been asking some families for the vegetables out of their gardens. Not only is she being rude to some people about it, but it's also embarrassing for me. I've asked her to cut all that out, but she won't stop. That's not good at all. She's going around making it seem like you're not bringing in enough money for the family anymore? Well, this is my problem. So I'll figure something out. Which means, you really don't have to be worried about things here. Especially since we already caused you enough trouble back when I was getting married to Emmy. I want to make that up to you as well, by going all out on your present. Excuse me, Emmy? I have something I'd like to ask you about today's wedding. Oh, did I leave something there by accident? No, this has to do with the cards you gave me today. I just got home and was reading through all the cards that people had given to my husband and I. And when I got to the one you and Emmett gave us, there was nothing other than 53 cents stuffed into it. Is there a problem with that? I told you this before, but right now Emmett and I are financially not doing too well. So even with all I could muster, that 53 cents was the best I could do. What? That was all I had in my purse at the time. I'm sure that's a lot less than what everyone else gave you, but please forgive me. You would never try and steal more money from a couple of poor people, would you? I never said I was wanting to get more money from you, but for you guys not having any money at all, today you were dressed up in some very high-class fashion. Actually, both you and your daughter came today in some expensive dresses and heels that only came out just this year. Oh, thank you so much for noticing that. But I'm sorry to say that what we had on wasn't brand new attire. My daughter and I received those dresses and heels from one of our neighbors who gave them to us for free. She assumed we weren't doing so well and came to the rescue. Are you sure about that? Because your daughter was going around today bragging about how you bought that dress for her. What? Also, there was a tag still stuck to the back of her dress that you never cut off. That dress was worth a thousand dollars. Excuse me? You didn't have the money to get me a gift, yet you seemed to have the money to buy yourself and your daughter matching high-class dresses like those. You, you shut up! What's wrong with me going out and getting us some new dresses? We've been struggling with money a lot recently and have had to save up your money forever now! And because of all that saving and cheap living, the stress has really been getting to me. So before things got way out of hand for me, I had to go out and buy some new fashion for my daughter and I. So your way of getting over the stress of having to live cheap and save money is to spend money? Buying really expensive things refreshes my nerves, actually. Thinking about what I can afford allows me to do my best when saving up money. And today, being able to walk around in such expensive fashion allowed me to feel better about going home to live cheaply again. Then what's the point of trying to save up any money? You're saying that you have to live cheaply in order to save money, but then the stress from that makes you go out and waste all your money on new clothes, which then puts you right back to square one again, right? 
And then you have the nerve to only give me 53 cents as a wedding gift. Oh, what's wrong with me giving you 53 cents as a present? When it comes to presents, it's all about the thought, really, right? Nobody ever said we had to give you a ton of money, right? Sure, there are people saying you should spend a couple hundred, but you tell me who actually said that first. I'm not going to follow some made-up rules that nobody even knows who made up. <laughs> but don't you feel that handing me your pocket change as a present was a little bit rude of you? You think so? Well, isn't that a good message for you then? <laughs> 53 cents pretty much means that you're worth about the same amount as garbage to me. <laughs> huh? Well, when looking at your husband, he's not all that attractive, is he? Actually, I'd go as far as to call him straight up ugly. <laughs> and when it comes to you, you're not that much better than he is in terms of looks. Having to come out to the wedding of two ugly looking pigs is like having to stand around in a dump. <laughs> So I thought that giving you 53 cents as a message was a good idea. Huh? Giving money away to some strangers on their wedding day is a total waste to me. Yet I still went and gave you 53 cents, right? I think you're making a mistake complaining about that amount right now. If anything, you should be thanking me for giving you such a high amount. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much of a pretentious asshole you're sounding like right now, Emmy? Not only did you not bother to give me anything worthwhile as a gift today, but you have started to make fun of both my husband's and my appearances. You're a serious bitch. I told you there was no helping the amount I gave you today, right? <laughs> Sorry. My husband and I are too poor to give you anything more. Just take that 53 cents and be thankful. <laughs> then what happens to the $3,000 I told you to put in the card? What? Is that you? Emmett, is that you on her phone? W uh, no, no, no. Uh, there's no way you're on her phone right now. The only person I'm texting right now is Kay. Yo, Emmy. I'm only going to ask you this one more time. Where the hell did that $3,000 I gave to you to put in that card for Kay go? What? I told you to take that money for my little sister and her husband and put it in that card for her, right? Tell me why the hell that $3,000 turned to 53 cents. Wait a second, what? Why are you on her phone right now? Answer the goddamn question! Uh... I took the phone from her when I walked in to see what she wanted. And the reason I'm here in the first place is because she called me saying there was something very important she needed to tell me about the card she got from us. What? And that's when I saw there was only 53 freaking cents in the card. Seeing her spare change sitting in that card, I almost lost consciousness. Before I did, I grabbed the phone out of her hands and took a look at all the shit you've been saying to her. You're lying, right? So wait, you've seen everything her and I have been saying to one another? I've seen it all, you bitch. I was really hoping this was all some joke you were pulling in order to surprise her with the money I gave you to give to her. But it doesn't seem that way at all. So tell me, you selfish freaking whore. What the hell is going on here? Uh, um... What was that about my sister's wedding being like a dump to you? And what was that about my sister and husband both looking like ugly pigs? You're not getting away with that kind of childish behavior this time. Ah, uh, you're, you're mistaken, Emmett. There's a lot of stuff behind all of this. Then tell me right freaking now what the stuff is. What the hell happened to that $3,000? You bring that goddamn money to her house right now. The, well, that's not possible. I used that 3000 when I went shopping, so I no longer have it anymore. So you asking me to bring it there won't happen. You used it all while shopping? I, I, was, I was stressed from having to live so cheaply in order to save up some money. Recently, my skin hasn't been looking so good, so I used the money on some high-end cosmetics and skincare creams. When you're buying a bunch of things, $3,000 disappears really quickly. For God's sake! You used all that money which was meant for my sister on crap like that? What do you mean crap like that? Saving money is a lot more difficult than you might think. And if you're looking to blame this on someone, you're the one who's to blame for receiving that cut to your bonus. Screw off! I only had a hundred dollars cut off from that bonus, you stupid bitch. Nothing changed in terms of my salary which was already 250 k a year. Nothing freaking changed when I had a hundred dollars cut from my bonus. What? You only lost a hundred dollars from your bonus? Freaking told you that, Emmy. I was taking a cut to my bonus, but it wouldn't mean jack to our financial situation. 
I told you not to worry about it, and just live life like you've always been. Uh, but not a penny of that bonus went into our savings account. You always put the whole bonus in there, right? But after checking the account over and over and over again, nothing ever popped up in there. So I, I assumed that there really wasn't going to be a bonus coming this year. Where do you think the money for my sister's wedding present was coming from then? I was holding on to that bonus in order to give it to her in cash form. I was going to take some of my base income and throw that into savings this month. But I didn't get around to it yet. No, no way. Tell me something, Emmy. Were you really checking our savings account that often for my bonus? Checking it over and over again to see if my bonus was in there? Was something bad going to happen if that bonus didn't end up in there for you? What? Th there was never anything bad going to happen. Yo, Emmy. I just had a good look at our savings account on my app. Why the hell is there nothing in that account anymore? What's going on there? Uh, no, wait. That's, um... I thought I gave you your money every month when I got my salary and told you to never pull anything from the savings account. But right now, that account is sitting at zero. And I want to know why the hell that is. Where the freaking hell did all the money in there go? Um, it's, uh, sh sh shopping and such. Uh, shopping, you know. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I lightheartedly went and spent it all. I was always telling myself this would be the last thing as I continued to spend more and more. But by the time I actually noticed how much I'd bought, all of the money was gone. For Christ's sake. To be honest, the money you'd give me was also... Uh, due to all my spending and skincare treatments, I didn't have enough money. So I would use our savings to pay the difference. I thought I could hide everything from you before the next time you got paid. But then I realized that you never even put this year's bonus in there, and that caused me to panic. S so that's why I started to try and lie about our situation so that Kay didn't think we could afford a gift for her wedding. Emmy, we're getting divorced. What?! What the hell did you think would happen? I'm coming home right now, and there we're talking. No! All the spending, all the savings you spent, and all the lies you've been telling? We're going to talk a lot about all of that. Go and find a strong rope from the garage and wait for me. Help me, Kay. Emmett is seriously saying that he and I need to get a divorce now, but I, I don't want to get divorced. Oh, can't you do something to set him straight for me? Shut the frick up, bitch. He has his mind set on ending you, so forget about asking for help. Your only option now is to run away. Why are you being so cold to me? You just got married yourself, right? You are right now feeling how important it is to be married and should understand the kind of love it takes to be with someone forever, right? Don't you hate the idea of getting a divorce and don't wish it upon anyone else? Oh, good point. Now that I'm married, I really do understand things a lot more. And the one thing that I've come to understand the most is that for a marriage to last, both parties have to be happy. But when one of the two parties does something beyond terrifying to their partner, well, let's just say they don't deserve to enjoy being married anymore. Hurry the hell up and leave my brother now. You, you're so mean, Kay. So you're okay with us getting a divorce then, right? And with that, my daughter will be affected the worst by it, all right? Don't you feel bad for her, knowing that her parents might end up being divorced and living apart from one another? Hey, how about you shut the hell up and take a second to think about what you're saying? First of all, your daughter is old enough to understand now that what you did was wrong. So I don't think she's going to be sad when her dad says it's time to kick the monster out of the house. Ugh. Oh, but doesn't the mother normally get full custody of their child if they ask for it? Right now, Emmett is saying he's taking my daughter away from me and won't let her see me anymore. At least get him to leave me my daughter. I know that she'll be much happier with her mother. No, she told me she doesn't want to be with someone who can't control their spending and will most likely go down a path to being homeless. What? I really don't think you understand just how much of this situation your daughter understands. Remember that there is also nobody else on your side right now while my brother has my husband and I, our parents, and a whole bunch of other people supporting him. They all love your daughter enough to even help care for her while Emmett is busy with work or whatnot. But, but my daughter is a really shy girl. She'll be lonely if she has to lose her mother. I don't understand why you'd think that when she's been having the time of her life over at my parents' place. And actually, she's fallen in love with my husband of all people. <laughs> what? My husband just so happens to be an elementary school teacher. 
which means he knows how to handle kids, especially in stressful situations. And, well, your daughter is really fond of him right now. She tells him he's so much fun to play with and wants him going out to my parents' house every day to see her. <laughs> what? So please don't worry about her and go finish that divorce to my brother now. Then go figure out how the hell to fix your spending problems and hopefully find a way to start saving some of your own money. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be paying child support from now on as well as a settlement. Really, all you have left to do in your life now is make money and give it all to my brother. No way! I'm getting divorced, and I'm having my baby girl taken away from me, and I'll have to pay a settlement and child support. I can't. I've been a housewife for so long now and haven't worked in ages. Well, the court said that if you can't make the money to pay child support, you'll never be allowed to see her again. That would cause your daughter to become more lonely than anything else, right? You think that's a good idea as a mother to make your own daughter lonely? I... I don't. Good luck, you bitch. <laughs> and not too long after that, Emmy and Emmett had their divorce and were no longer a couple. My brother got full custody of his daughter, and now the two of them are living at my parents' house for the time being. My husband and I will go over there every so often to see them and play, but of course Emmett's daughter is only interested in being around my husband. It's at the point now where her own father is getting jealous of my husband now, actually. <laughs> As for what happened with Emmy after that, she moved back home to her parents' house for a bit until she found herself a job working at the lumber mill there and was forced to move out. She started to send money to my brother for child support as well as to pay off that settlement, but she's also going to have to worry about the debt she's gotten into affording her own place and everything else. I'm sure right now is far more stressful for her than when she was living with my brother under the false idea that they were poor and living cheaply but this time there won't be any spending money on high-end items to take away that stress, as that would really do her in big time. <laughs> Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. See you in the next video.